one inch taller. He has a one inch reach advantage, if you want to call it that. Grappling tonight, Masvidal versus Pettis. For our official introductions, here's Christopher James. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, are you all ready for the main event of the night? Pensacola, we're happy to be here with you tonight to take your promotion. And to all you watching and are you live, thanks for buying the pay per view. Thanks for tuning in. And now, let's get down to action. This bout is being brought to you by our good friend at Banks Construction. And it's scheduled for one. Be surprised if he does pull guard. I don't think he wants to really tangle with my opponent. Their pet is going for a take shot. I think I think that's you know just a. You're both these men fighting at welterweight now in the UFC, but it's been considerable time at lightweight. They're really equally sized. It's, it's not that one fighter is, is really all that much bigger than the other. Right, and I mean, they're, and they're both coming off the biggest wins of their career, which they were, they felt like they were both equally sized. It's true. Both of them were knocking out. Controlling the back now of Pettis is Masvidal. Pettis goes to a knee. Masvidal thought about trying to get that hook and he bailed on it. Interested to see how Masvidal is He's kind of limiting himself with the movement of his throwing that corner. Pettis back to his feet. Pensacola base center kind of splitting their support here. Chance for Pettis. You mentioned Masvidal, really a legend in these parts. Well, that's South Florida. This, it's is, it's, this, is, it's, little, this is a little it, different. Don't it's anything. still Florida. <laughs> it's still Florida. King of the Boatyard. In the Boatyard, the bright lights. Masvidal takes on Pettis' teammate, Ben Askren, here in a couple weeks. I wonder if there's any intel gathering here for Pettis grappling with his Masvidal. I don't think so. You know, I, I think in Masvidal is not going to have this approach against Ben Askren. Right, right, right. Pettis not afraid to give up his back here to Masvidal. Masvidal would have to try to get the hooks in. Not, well, you know, I think that's kind of Pettis' style. There it goes right down to it. He would try to get into his guard. But I think he was just waiting his time. He didn't want to spend 10 minutes in his guard. But I think his time might have been his time. This is not something you 
seen anything different from like EDI, right? You'd see something like that. I don't know if I've ever seen someone do an inverted butt scoot towards someone at EBI, but... Maybe not EBI, but I've seen that in video. Sure. Yeah. And I've always wondered about that. Pettis, his nickname is Showtime. He's here to put on a show. A lot of respect here from both of these guys as well. I mean, Pettis on his seat, Montvidal doesn't really want to go and dive into the guard of Pettis, and I think that's a sign of respect. Yeah. This is a strong spot for, there he goes. This is a strong spot for uh, Montvidal, that, that dart stroke. He's got a great dart stroke. Pettis was hit to it. He's got his chest down. Montvidal trying to put some weight on Pettis. Pettis able to get to his knee now, back to his feet. did submit Charles de Bronx Oliveira in 2016 with the guillotine. It's interesting, between these two gentlemen, they both own a submission over Michael Chiesa, who has a very well-respected ground game in mixed martial arts. Chiesa has only been submitted three times in his entire career, and you're looking at two guys that did it. Halfway point here of this round, I would say regulation, but it's the only round we don't go to overtime. If we fail to get a submission here in this 10 minutes, the foul will be declared draw. And truly, this is a thrill to see two high-level athletes like this grapple. And it's for sure. This is a, a, a bulletproof uh, event. Appreciate everyone joining us on our line. All for a good cause plan. When Moscow heard about this event, he absolutely signed on immediately. Only group helps kids in tough situations get into the gym. Right now, speaking of tough situations, Mosvidal trying to put Pettis in one, maybe trying to frame up a arm triangle if he's able to get off to the side there. He's got that hook in, and Pettis seems to be aware of the attack. Mosvidal put a lot of pressure on Pettis. Again, Pettis, but Pettis, you know, that's his grappling style. It's very lackadaisical, but he's waiting for a mistake. And if, if Mosvidal gives him an opening, we'll see him attack it. Is able to get free. Now jumping guillotine for showtime. Again, I, and that's what I was saying. Like he, he just jumps at you. Like you, he plays very like a will get you off the guard. He goes for He'll jump off the cage and kick you in the head or just jump straight up in the air and put you in a guillotine. like these guys at the highest level to, to make that walk and just, you know, kind of no, knock the rust off. Absolutely not. And this is why they're here, is to make that walk. Get used to this. Get used to having a person in front of you that's trying to beat you and you're trying to beat that other person. And obviously, the ramifications aren't as, as much as the UFC fight, but right. they still get to enjoy it. Two 
few minutes remaining here in the contest. Here you can see this Dean Thomas, Pensacola Bay Center here in Pensacola, Florida. Trying to get the tip down now of his own is Anthony Pettis. Miles it all wise to it now back to me. Miles it all scrambled out and after everything. And that was what I said earlier. I don't think that Pettis will be able to get one of those. Masvidal utilizing that strength to get control back. Pettis able to pick him up, put him on the floor. We've yet to see Masvidal really put in a hook here and try to control the back of Pettis. See if he changes things up here in the final 75 seconds. There's something about Pettis that he's doing to Masvidal. And it's, there's a feeling that he's getting that he's not being uncomfortable. So he's not trusting him. You, you know that Pettis is setting him up for something. of the match, Pettis trying to grab a hold of that right leg of Masvidal. Masvidal coming back to Pettis, just watch for 45 seconds left. Jumps on something, nothing there, and that's a wrap. Jorge Gamebred, Masvidal, Anthony Showtime, Pettis, they grab.